am just about to do another Blogilates workout, so I'm just setting it up here on the iPad. I got mail! Ooh, it's a new credit card! I do like how it has the word infinite. So my dad's been down to my apartment once, I've been down to my apartment once, so in total there's been like two trips of car loads of things to take down, but for some reason I still have a ton of stuff that I need to take down. And here's the beautiful pile! Well, hopefully my boyfriend isn't too upset when he finds out that a few bits and bobs, odds and ends is actually this giant pile of stuff. Good evening. It is a lovely, warm Tuesday summer night, and I have finished this week's vlog. And I've sort of been thinking that I should figure out not exactly how I'm going to take notes, but at least the options that are out there for me. I am just at the bank. I'm going to pick up some US dollars because the LA trip with my boyfriend is less than a week away. Super excited. Just kind of doing last minute things to prepare for that. Stay tuned for that vlog. It will be not this vlog, but the next vlog. USA. USA. Hello, second cup. I still love you, Starbucks. <sighs> okay, so I was just at second cup and I did some sort of quote practice notes. Um, and right now I've just been using pages, which is kind of like Microsoft Word, but for Apple. Anyways, <clears throat> anyways, I'm trying that. And then the other thing that I downloaded is OneNote, so I'll try that. The other two things that I've heard about are Evernote and Notability. Both of those cost money to download and use, so I don't really wanna spend like a whole bunch of money just to try something out if the free things are sufficient. Um, the only other thing is that the OneNote, which is Microsoft, I've downloaded it onto my MacBook, and I don't have Microsoft, I didn't buy Microsoft Office, so I'm scared that I may have to pay for it eventually. Alrighty, so I made it to work, and I'm all buzzed because I drank about like three sips of iced coffee. Good morning, today is Thursday. I am at the store because I am going to be picking up a wedding card. Um, a very good friend of mine is actually marrying my boyfriend's brother. So we're going to their wedding on Saturday, just a couple days from now, which will be super fun. Um, yeah, I just saw a lady, okay, back up, back up the train. So at the store, there is usually a couple homeless people or like a homeless person that sort of camps out on the exit so you sort of drive by them as you go and I just saw a lady get out of her car and she like had a bunch of groceries and she gave those to him and I don't know like every time I see something like that my heart like hurts just because it's like oh my gosh there's goodness in the world yeah so it like makes you sad and happy at the same time, like sad that people have the misfortune of being homeless, but like happy at the same time that there's people willing to help. I don't know, it's just such a, a mix. Anyways, I just thought I would share that. <laughs> All right, change of plans. <sighs> So I looked at the cards and going in, I was thinking in my head, I need a card that has two cats getting married on it. And shocker, I couldn't find that. And I don't really want to drive all around town. So I'm going to try and make that card. So here's a little update. I'm kneeling on the floor. I got some paper, a pencil, and I have no freaking clue what I'm doing. Alrighty, I now have two small cats. Next, I'm gonna try to make a bow tie from this ribbon. Hmm. Nope. Nope. Yes, yes. 
And now for the veil! Well, I guess cheesecloth doesn't make for a very nice veil. Alrighty, we decided on a lace veil instead. Also added some bling. And now for the actual card. Alrighty, we are done. Got my shirt. Got the sewing machine. And I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> So I finished sewing my crop top, this is kind of what we have, and then we got a gray skirt. Okay, so I got an email saying that our schedule for the first week or first two weeks of school is ready. So I'm going to check that out and kind of show you what is up. So I'm reading through this formaldehyde safety worksheet because in the gross anatomy lab when we are dissecting cadavers there is a lot of formaldehyde involved basically don't swallow it don't inhale it don't get it in your skin don't get it in your eyes it will irritate them and a lot of exposure um can be carcinogenic so cancer causing yay i'm not too worried though because They've been doing this for years, and also I have been exposed to just as crazy of chemicals before, um, if not worse, in the organic chemistry lab. Alright, so browsing the calendar, this week is empty obviously, next week is also empty, and then BAM! Oh my gosh, I am scared. Like, this thing is packed. Starting at 8 and going till 5 every day. So my stress levels just went from like normal, like oh my gosh, med school's happening soon, to like <laughs> I was under the impression that the first two weeks would be pretty easy, pretty chill. We would just kind of get to know the campus, it would just be orientation, fun and games, but no. No. On Tuesday, August, oops, I mean on Wednesday, August 22nd, which is literally the third day of classes, we are doing a back dissection. Like in undergrad, the entire first week, we don't even have labs. And then the first week of labs, which is actually the second week of school, it's like, this is the lab. Okay, hold up. Up until now, I've been pretty chill, just been like, oh my gosh, the checklist is so dense, this is annoying, but like, whatever, med school's happening, but no, med school is happening. I'm sorry, I'm still freaking out about this, but just, uh, you gotta look at this. So I just moved everything into Google Calendar. Got LA trip with my boo, LA trip, LA trip, LA trip, bam, first day of school. But there's 10 more events! <laughs> okay, so I have had a minute slash an hour <laughs> to freak out about how much stuff is going on in the first few weeks of med school. That being said, I am super excited. This stuff looks super cool. I'm going to be introduced to a few things that I have never learned about before. In psychology, there's like this thing, I think it's called the hedonic treadmill, where basically if the treadmill speed increases, that just becomes your new normal. And you learn to walk that fast, run that fast, whatever, and you just keep up. So I feel like my life treadmill speed just went up and it's gonna take an adjustment phase, but eventually that will be my new normal. Another thing I'm thinking about this is there's sort of two things that are really crazy. One, there's a whole new platform. So in undergrad, we used a program called Blackboard, and now for med school, we're using an online program called Entrada. So this is where they upload course material, calendar dates, events, announcements, etc. And I remember starting undergrad and being like, oh my gosh, Blackboard is so overwhelming. I have no idea how to navigate this, how I'm going to use it. I'm going to forget to check it. But it all turned out fine. And 
I'm like a Blackboard Pro now after all that time. So I'm sure that learning how to use Entrada will just be the same story and I will figure it out and eventually be a pro. So the second thing is how crazy busy it feels like I'm gonna be. <sighs> it's just, you know when you get slammed with so much at once and like your stomach is like, Whoa! that is what I'm going through right now, but Ooh, it's gonna be so good. I just can't believe that this is happening. I think each step of the way, you have certain milestones where you realize that this is real, this is happening. One of them was when I got my stethoscope, so you should definitely, definitely watch that video. I'll put a link in the description below. I was super excited unboxing that thing, and I think the next phase is now, realizing how much I'm gonna be learning. This is what I signed up for. So that's why I'm so excited, but I think just the reality of it is so overwhelming and I almost don't even have time to process it because I got my schedule today. Tomorrow is my friend's wedding. It's kind of going to be like an all day affair. And then Sunday I leave for LA with my boyfriend and I don't get back till a week Sunday, which is the day before classes start. <laughs> I really want to crack open a cold, refreshing drink, but all we have is freaking veggie juice. <laughs> Alrighty, so I need to stop sitting around and freaking out about the inevitable. I have to pack absolutely everything so it's ready to go, and I also need to finish one more thing on my checklist. A link is now available and sort of set up. And then I have to go to work, and then it's it's fun time, and then straight into school. So let's do this. Packed all, Mister. Hello there. I am in Anaheim, California, for my last week of freedom, and that means I have one week until I start medical school. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that it is happening. Anyways, I'm gonna close this week's vlog here so that next week can just sort of be all about my adventure here down in the States, hanging out with Mickey Mouse, etc. If you have been watching my vlogs, thank you so much. I can't believe people actually watch these. Um, and if you are watching these videos and enjoying them, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button icon so that you never miss another video. And I cannot wait for medical school to start. There's gonna be so many more videos all about medical school lifestyle and the adventure ahead. So please share the love in your life and online and I will see you in the next video. Bye.